Nightline continues from Washington with Terry Moran. Earlier this year, we visited an auto show in New York and found that the biggest draw these days by far is that new class of cars, the hybrids. In particular, the wildly popular Toyota Prius, which gets 50 miles to the gallon on the open road. But on the highways of America, the Prius and its hybrid brethren are actually attracting some negative attention. Some people just don't like them. Here's ABC's Nancy Weiner with the sign of the time. In eight states, hybrid drivers traveling solo are allowed to use those coveted HOV lanes, normally reserved for carpoolers. I don't think it's fair because um, we're all going home when it's, um, you know, rush hour. In California, an LA Times editorial called for an end to the policy. As the list of perks enjoyed by hybrid owners grows, federal and local tax breaks, even free parking at meters in some places, it was perhaps inevitable that they would start to be seen as the teacher's pets of the road. Automotive chat sites are populated with self-proclaimed hybrid haters. In L.A., they call it Prius backlash. Oscar! It doesn't help that Earth-loving hybrid owners are sometimes perceived as, well, Oscar! a little self-satisfied. Seinfeld creator Larry David made fun of one of them himself on his HBO show, Curb Your Enthusiasm. See that? What? I waved to a Prius and it didn't wave back. I, I don't wave people in the same car as me. Well, we're Prius drivers. We're a special breed. People driving hybrid people now. People in a recent episode of South Park, the entire town is enveloped by not smog, but smug after residents start snapping up hybrids. Ever since he got that new hybrid, he thinks he's better than everyone else. Smug? or just smart, it may well be that hybrid owners are getting the last laugh. Even as questions grow about how much money and gas they're really saving, they're still cruising along in the carpool lane in solitary splendor. This is Nancy Weiner for Nightline, ABC News, New York. And several more states are considering similar laws, and that's a sign of the times. When we come back, Stopping the biological clock, can it be done?